all that matters. So, green light, and do we have the orange light? Yes. So, charge laptop at four. As long as we get the laptop charging before we get the buzz going. Now, that's there. You see, my whole operation is poetically, it's the words that actually over everything's about 10 years. It's about the last 10 years. But 20, 25 years ago, you see, all of this, this place, foodie culture. Now, that actually came from the local food bank drop. <laughs> I mean, it's just laughable. But first of all, we have foodie culture that comes along. Now, foodie culture is not culture. Let's be crystal clear. It's dilettante doodah. But then the whole damn thing. 2005, 2006. Even though she's my favourite person that I needed to spend time with in life. The millionaire's daughter. I didn't know she was a millionaire's daughter when I encountered her. Black sheep, number four. Now, the good thing about Britain is that, although you've got to be careful, we are... The thing about Britain that nobody appreciates or remembers, I would go to America in the late 80s, and low, even in North Carolina, flying into Charlotte Airport to see my best friend in the world, Margaret. Margaret Bolick. So sweet and innocent. Perfect. Not sweet, sweet, because you can't be American in the 80s and sweet. Sweet, sweet. But loads of Brits would go to America. Uh, power Brits, MPs. They would, many of them, have their hol have holiday homes that they were donated Lent. In America, they'd spent quite a lot of time in America in the in the summer. So the point being, you know, today we have Boris Johnson writing in the Daily Mail, apparently. Um, got to carry on selling arms to Israel. Britain is 